It was the freak accident which claimed six lives without warning and without reason. Or was it? The fatal accident inquiry into the bin lorry deaths has spent six weeks in a Glasgow court asking if anything could have been done to prevent those people dying. As the evidence ended, the family of one victim, Jacqueline Morton, called for more checks on who's safe to drive. The inquiry has highlighted weaknesses in the system that makes it too easy for an individual to obtain and retain a driving licence when they are not fit to drive contrary to public safety. The actions of an individual cannot be allowed to lead to a tragedy on such a scale again. The inquiry's already heard that Harry Clark had blacked out at the wheel before, but his lawyer said today that he didn't deliberately keep information from doctors or the DVLA so that he could keep his job. And on December the 22nd last year, Harry Clark, he said, didn't set out to inflict such unimaginable loss. On a very busy Queen Street that day, the bin lorry was just another part of the background until Harry Clark slumped at the wheel, it mounted the pavement and it became a 32-ton deadly weapon. There were screams as it got up to 30 miles an hour before ploughing on and into George Square. When it came to a stop, 15 people were injured, six were dead. And families of three of the victims said again today that the Crown is wrong not to press charges. But Scotland's top lawyer insists any prosecution would fail. There's insufficient evidence to demonstrate that Clark knew that on the day of the tragedy he was unfit to drive. So that ended consideration uh, of a criminal prosecution. The sheriff will deliver his determination by January, he says. That will describe what happened and what might have avoided it happening, but it won't say who's to blame. And so for the families who say Harry Clark is to blame, a rare private prosecution could come next. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.